What's good? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. If you just found me, this is the place to be, my YouTube channel, so hit that subscribe and I'll keep bringing you the good stuff and I'm also doing my own live coverage of the Apple Kino right here. So you get that notifications bell and I'll be starting up around 9 a.m. on Monday, June the 4th. So let's get to it and this week it's everything you can expect to see from Apple at WWDC 2018. To put it simply, it's software, software, and software. And yes, we've seen hardware at previous WWDCs, but that won't really be a big focus this time. And it all starts with iOS and it's really the heart of Apple software. We know iOS 12 is coming and according to Bloomberg, even if they sold hundreds of millions of iPhones, Apple will still highlight using your gadgets less this year. Now, it's a new initiative internally called Digital Health that is directly tackling smartphones addiction by tracking like how much time users are spending on their smartphones and in certain apps. At Google I.O., they introduced their own set of tools, especially with smartphone addiction becoming... Okay, hold on. Stop it, I'm doing... Yes, thank you, mom. A real problem today. We also know that Apple is big on augmented reality. Tim Cook can't talk about it enough. And there's even been rumors of Apple working on their own AR VR headset that would have an 8K display for each eye. Sure, it's in development and we may never see it, but it shows how serious Apple is. Now, iOS 12 is expected to bring new software called AR Kit 2.0 that would include a new mode to allow users to play augmented reality games against each other in the same virtual environment. Objects could be dropped into this virtual space as well. And you know, I'm all for this new tech and new cool experiences, but I also like the idea of people playing games in the real world, like Jenga. Good job. No, 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 no. If that's going to happen, screw it. AR games for life. Now, there will be other minor updates like snoozing notifications, tracking the stock market, video call improvements, and yes, new and emojis, as in possible FaceTime and emojis, which will probably get more demo time than any of us really want. But I don't expect iOS 12 to blow us away. Maybe they have some more surprises, but an earlier report from Bloomberg detailed how the priority for 12 was to improve the quality and its performance, and they absolutely have to. After I called iOS 11 the buggiest and worst iOS release Apple has ever done to date. You know, it was like bug after bug after bug, and I know this stuff isn't easy. Like, I can't do it, but it was the sloppiest iOS we've ever seen. I was throwing bad apples all over the place. iOS 11.4 just dropped this week, and I waited two days before I installed it. That's how scared I was, so, so far so good gonna cross my fingers but even the fact that they finally delivered airplay 2 stereo support for the home pod and message syncing over iCloud one year after they were announced and less than a week before WWDC 2018 come on Apple needs to do better this is what they have to do and I welcome improvements in performance with open arms because we need it like rumored features that didn't make the cut in order to focus on improving the stability for iOS this year one, a completely redesigned home screen for launching apps and presenting bits of information there. Uh, a new AI for the Photos app and a new file management tool for iPad. Those are three features that I would have actually used on a daily basis, but we'll have to wait for iOS 13. And I know, you know, I've piled on them enough, but now that I've resolved that for myself, this is really more like a sad apple. Aww. Now, if we're talking about the Mac, it's really will we or won't we see closer integration with macOS and iOS. Apple has reportedly been working to let iOS apps run on the macOS platform, and that would breathe a little new life into the Mac. But WWDC, a chance to show us this new integration, some reports say we won't see it. But if iOS 12 is a minor update or, you know, not the sexiest, we need to be wowed in other places. And more importantly, what are they gonna call it? macOS Sierra is getting played out. My name is Marcos Sierra. It's just not funny anymore. And remember, last year, Apple showed off all new Macs. They revealed the new iMac Pro and the HomePod. And we aren't hearing that they'll appear. All signs point to the rumored new iPad Pro and the new iPhone SE 2 to be at another keynote as well. 
but if they want to give us something, something to get excited about, they should show a sneak peek of the new Mac Pro that they've said has been pushed out to 2019. Like just something, an edge or a silhouette of a design, just something to get the Pro users excited. But again, this is expected to be all about the software. Now also, you know, I'm an Apple Watch Series 3 fan. I love this thing, so I'm excited to see what they bring to Watch OS 5. And to me, the biggest thing is what they can do to bring the big developers back to the Apple Watch with dedicated apps instead of making it really like a notifications bracelet. And I know it's not for everyone, but the LTE version has unlocked the watch for me to use it in different ways. But now I'm like, where's the apps? We have Google Maps, uh, Twitter, Amazon, eBay, Instagram, and even just Lyft. They bailed out because it's easier for them just to push notifications to this. Now, Apple Watch has the highest market share for any smartwatch today. Uh, the users are there, so it's time to bring rich featured apps to the Apple Watch. And opening up the APIs so developers can have access to build these apps is important as well, so I'll wait to see what they do. Now, reports say Apple is also working on a slightly larger screen for the Apple Watch that goes edge to edge and gives us more screen real estate. Will they make everything bigger or will they introduce new UI elements to take advantage of that space? We'll see. Also, Apple TV has brought some updates with tvOS over the years, but nothing really exciting and revolutionary. iOS 11.4 did bring AirPlay 2, but my assumption is we won't see a completely new look or feel until Apple launches their new content platform, you know, whenever that is. So I'm not expecting much from Apple TV. And the HomePod, what will we see here? It just got an update and finally delivers on all of the promises they made, you know, a year ago with stereo speaker support, uh, multi-room audio, and the addition of calendar support. But look at everything we've talked about to this point. The number one thing that Apple should be focusing on and featuring at WWDC is Siri and their AI platform moving forward. Last year, the number one thing I wanted from WWDC was for Apple to show us a significantly improved Siri. The Amazon Echo and the Google Home were already way ahead of them and Siri was a footnote in 2017. So I'll say it again, the number one thing Apple needs to show us at WWDC is what are they doing with Siri? Like how are they getting better and improving it? This is the heart of everything moving forward. And I've said it on my Apple Bits XL audio podcast, go check it out. It's time for Apple to just blow up Siri and start over. They just hired Google's chief of search and artificial intelligence, John G and Andrea, and that's huge. So building a new Siri from scratch, I get it. It takes a whole lot of time, but what are they gonna do for 2018? It's a developer conference. I'd like to see really where they're going moving forward. So there you have it. Everything we expect to see at WWDC, it's all about the software, but hopefully Apple throws us a few hardware surprises. For example, show us something with the Max. Uh, we want that, but where's the air power mat? You know, that maxi pad looking thing and at least give us that. And the current gen AirPods with this new wireless charging case you teased us, that's the least, like the smallest thing you could do for hardware. All right, that's gonna do it. You know, I'm always excited and juiced about an Apple keynote. This is no different. I'll also be doing my own live coverage of the Apple WWDC keynote right here on my YouTube channel, taking your live calls. We're going big. We have the BTZ bingo card with prizes as you follow along. Tweets and polls all right here, Monday, June the 4th, starting around 9 a.m. So I'll see you at WWDC 2018. Until next time, be safe. Peace.